Welcome back everyone. I'm John. This is the channel of Moon High Effects. Creating lesson number 18 today. Drawing trend lines on trading view. I'm going to show you how to draw your own tra trend lines so that you can do it yourself and that you can really get a nice accurate point of entry. Let's take a look. Drawing trend lines on trading view. Exercise for yourself to do. Practice this yourself on the chart every day. Start every day with a clean chart. Do this one time a day after you read your trading plan because our trading plan is the one that you want to follow so that you are sure that we can go up and down and leave the market when you are put into your trading plan. Also put your percentage into your trading plan that you want to gain every time you have a trade and stick to that. The better your trend lines drawing comes, the better you find a perfect entry. To draw a trend line, please go never under a 4 hour chart because they are not accurate. A 1 hour chart can maybe be done if you are a scalp trader, but do never go under a 1 hour chart because they are very insecure and they are not accurate to what the market is really going to do. Time to take a look at TradingView and show you how to draw trend lines. Here we are at TradingView. This is, first of all, we're going to take a look which chart we are watching. On the left upper side, you can see that we are on a BTC USDT chart, that this is weak time frame. And trend lines we draw with this left side, that you can see my cursor over it. We press this one time and now we can draw trend lines. I'm also going to secure this one so that I can keep drawing trend lines after each other. Normally a weak trend line, we do not use that that much, but if you want to start by looking at bigger time frames, we can. And I'm just going to show you how we are going to do this. So first of all, we have here one. Let me take off the extended part. That's no need. And let's keep it in white so that it's better seen for you guys. So the first one we have is up here. Why do I find this a nice trend line? Let's zoom in a bit so that everyone can see it better. I took two, three wigs under it. Everyone can see perfectly that I took one wig, second wig, a third wig already onto it. And this is a weak trend line. So it still has some time to lift out of this one. First of all, the trend line of a downwards trend is being drawn on the upside. So you can see that I draw this on the upside. If it is an upward trend line, so if we had an upward trend like here, we would draw it on the opposite side. We would draw it under our candles instead of above it. Why? Because it needs to be able to break through this trend line to change direction of the market. If you would extend this, you would be able to see that somewhere in the market it broke through the market. Here it broke through, it tested it, it retested it, and it did not get over this trend line. So this was quite a good trend line even. I did never draw this one. So you can see here that it went up the trend line, it went to, it retested my trend line, it broke through my trend line, it went again. If it broken through, it has to make a retest. It did here, a retest, it did not get over it. Here he touched it over. He wanted to stay above it, but the sellers were way too strong and the trend went downwards again. Another trend line you can draw is here. This is also a nice one. So one week, two weeks, three weeks. It broke through my trend line here and it went to the other side and it tested my trend line downwards. So that's also a trend line. I prefer that everyone draws trend lines only starting with a day time frame. A week time frame is good if you are a hodler and that you can see where the market is heading at that point. The first trend line you ever should draw always is where the market started. So where did the market start from this point? In 2018 that was his bottom but for us before the market went upwards this was the bottom. So in 2020 we had the first real big trend line. That came onto it and this is like his perfect day trend line. We take the candles not the wicks because this is a very long trend line already and you can see he came perfectly to this trend line again. We're gonna leave this one in red. Why? Because this is my final support. If it breaks through here the downtrend will continue and he will go for this level. 19,000, 20,000 or 23,000. Between this level and this level, he will go for that level then. Because this was his final support for here. 
if he breaks through that one again he will definitely cease to go here 22,400 because he is above this level already so he will go first to the 22 and afterwards if he does not hold the 22 he will go again to nine between uh, 20,000 and 19,000 and a bit but we are here for trend lines not for telling you what the market will do now let's take it back and white the trend lines let's draw another one so if it is not put trend we can draw one here we will leave the extended part out of it if you want to you can just extend the market here so that you can see where they go to if it is the first time your trend line ever has been broken that means it needs to make a retest on your own trend line and this is what it does if you have drawn this trend line it would have been beautiful that you've seen in november it did not go through this trend line so that means it did not have power enough to extend it retest it and go upwards again no it stopped here and it went the different direction again a downwards trend we draw above the candles an upward trend we draw under it why because it needs to be able to break your trend to show you that it goes on a different direction so here it went downwards he broke through it went up a bit and he took in, he took here a different direction so that means that we could have drawn here another trend line until he broke it until he went through the trend line and he did break this trend line and that means that he went downwards if he did not go through this trend line that means he would have gone sideways onto this trend line until the, the sellers are in position where they have broken your trend line and going to the next support level of that trend line the most accurate trend lines are not on the week channel they are on a day so let's go back to the day candles so that we can maybe draw them a bit more accurate let's delete a few of them so that i can show you where to draw them and how to draw them like i said a trend line needs at least two points to be a good one how more points they are have that touch each other the better it is so they had one two points so this would have been already a trend from here to here and if you zoom in you can put it a bit more beautiful on top so that it's even more accurate made you can see this is one this is the second touch that they had it was not perfectly on top how more beautiful it's touched your wicks the more beautiful that you will see the trend line will be able to hit it again afterwards you have seen when the market was here we could have adjusted the trend line a bit higher because now it has one two three four five wicks and then you see that it has broken through my trend line and it has retested it here again here and then it went sideways the market so if we have an upward trend let me draw another one we will take it from here you can choose if you want to take it to the candles or that you want to use the wicks i prefer myself to use the wicks because it's more accurate for me but at the beginning i started also by just drawing them on the candles itself so that you're sure when to leave the market before the market does change direction now we've drawn a few trend lines let me draw another one if you have one that you think it's good leave it so now you can see here too this trend line was beautiful one two three touch it showed here a hanging man a doji so these two already said fun okay the market is gonna change and this is in a fungal bar that has a, a first a negative one and then a positive one so he this candle eat it completely up with breaking my trend line that meant that the market would change direction and what did the market do it changed direction up here we have the same pattern as down here but the other one around up one downward and downwards in fungoman bar and the market changed direction again but also if i would have draw a trend line here you would have seen that it would have broken my trend line at this point 
if you want to make it more accurate you could just have taken the wicks here if we've taken these ones were beautiful if you've seen after this candle is broken this did not su su support my su resisting and the market went a different direction again this is how you draw trend lines if you have any questions how to draw a trend line leave a comment below if you want to share my channel I would be much appreciated if you want to have private lessons or want to join my discord uh, for the next month uh, from in three days it will be open up my discord and anybody that was trading advice or needs some trading skills or wants to see what I'm doing in the market when I buy or sell my tradings you can join my discord it's free for the next month you can invite anybody that wants to learn anything so please do so that would be very helpful for me and also for the persons that want to join if you want to learn something different than not just drawing trend lines if you want to just have a this a nice conversation into a group with everybody crypto minded that's what I want to create I want to make a beautiful discord where everybody is allowed to say what he wants to say but be gentle for everyone and be polite after that month I will close the discord for opening for free and afterwards they will have to I will have to charge everybody that's in my discord will be staying there for free for lifetime so please if you want to join send me an email or leave a comment below that I can put you inside and I will make sure that you can do it give me a, a, a day at least to respond to all the emails so that, that I have Thank you very much for your attentions. Much love to everyone. Smile and be thankful for everything that you have at this point. Love each other. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Ciao.